So this is a little video here about a problem I've noticed with um, with Macintosh computers running El Capitan, and it's to do with the uh, the speed of the network uh, for file transfers. I've got uh, three Macs. I've got one running Yosemite and two running El Capitan, and I've noticed that um, whilst they all used to perform very similarly, over the past few weeks, maybe even months actually, uh, the speed of file transfers on my local network has drastically reduced. And these are wired networks, we're not talking wireless here, these are Ethernet connections. Um, and uh, this is for time machine backups or for transferring files, photos, whatever, to a local uh, server I've got. So I've started doing some experiments and I've found that um, Yosemite and indeed Windows PCs both perform extremely fast. I'm getting a gigabit type performance over a gigabit network. But with El Capitan machines over the same gigabit network with the same cables, the same connections, the same machinery in total, um, I'm getting significantly poorer performance and we're talking 10 times reduced speeds, massively reduced speeds, um, which seems quite bizarre as El Capitan is allegedly an upgrade from Yosemite. So here's a little um, experiment I've been doing which I'm just going to show now. Um, so this is uh, an, an iMac and this is running um, El Capitan and uh, I've also got a virtual machine running on it. So on this window here I'm running a virtual machine with Windows 10 inside it. So over here is El Capitan, over here is, uh, is Windows 10. I've put the same uh, speed test program on both uh, parts of, of the machine. So I've got a little thing called LAN speed test. So here it is running in uh, El Capitan. Here it is running in Windows 10, both on the same physical machine with the same physical network, uh, Cat5 connection through to a server in the other room. So what I'm going to do is transfer um, 10 uh, megabytes of data to the um, to the server. I'm going to write 10 megabytes and read 10 megabytes. We'll see how long it takes. So here is the El Capitan version, and as you can see, it's writing data to the server, um, and we'll shortly get a, uh, a speed. Of, uh, of writing and now it's going to read the same. So you can see the data we've got here we're getting about um, 8.3 megabits per second writing and we're getting about 70 megabits per second per second reading in El Capitan. Now let's go over to Windows 10 uh, remember this is the same machine um, same network everything and this is in fact a virtual machine if anything it should be running slower because it's running inside El Capitan. So here we go uh, 10 megs and um, we'll say okay and it's done it already. Look at the speed here. Writing 220 megabits per second. Reading getting on for half a gig per second. You know, this is a gigabit network. That's that's the sort of speed I'd expect. Uh, 449 megabits per second. Look at this. Here, here's El Capitan. I mean, this is this is unbelievable. The performance in El Capitan is dreadful. What on earth is going on? So um, I've I've called Apple. I've spoken to Apple support and they say there's nothing they can do. It's a network issue. Um, it's clearly not a network issue. It's to do with the protocols. And in fact, having read the forums, it's because El Capitan has uh, implemented uh, a, a allegedly a Windows protocol called uh, SMB, um, which seems strange as a Windows machine works awfully fast. Um, whereas uh, when they had the uh, uh, Yosemite operating system, it was uh, implementing an Apple file protocol, AFP, which apparently was much faster. Um, I can't find a way of switching El Capitan into the faster mode. It appears to be fixed for um, for writing. It, you can you can switch the protocol for sharing on your local machine, but you can't uh, apparently change it for uh, read and write to external devices over a network. So that's pretty disappointing. And Apple, uh, you need to get your act together and sort things out.